Hey, another uh, spring flowering bulb that we planted in the fall here in the State Botanical Garden of Tennessee. Uh, plant gang, I want to tell you a little bit about Miscari just in general. Uh, here we've got this grass-like foliage, uh, but right now, middle of March, we see the flowers start to come on right now. And really, we've got this all planted. It's just the beginning of this river of blue uh, that will be flowing through this bed. These beautiful hyacinth-like flowers uh, that are low to the ground, grass-like foliage, a great, very common spring blooming bulb that is planted in the fall, blooms in the spring. Uh, so we want to learn a little bit more about this and its care and its maintenance and how to identify it. So come on in, we're gonna look at it a little bit closer. So Miscari arminiacum, the grape hyacinth. Again, this is a bulb, it's in the Asparagaceae family. Uh, it is from Western Asia, Asia, Southeastern Europe, hardy from zones four through eight, which is a, a wide swath of the country. Uh, just a half of a foot tall to three quarters of a foot tall. Uh, maybe even sometimes, depending on the growing conditions, they might be a little bit lower, a little bit taller. Uh, and then they will spread out to a, to a nice clump about a half of a foot wide, but that's over time. Now you can see this uh, planted in some full sun situations, but it also does uh, quite well in kind of the edges of a woodland garden. Uh, it does have a little bit of a fragrance to it, showy. Uh, the one thing that I always try to make people aware of though is you are left with uh, the foliage for quite a long time after it does bloom. And so it does well mixed in with other perennial herbaceous plants in the landscape. Uh, tolerant of deer, clay soils, uh, even you can plant these under black walnuts. Uh, so a great little bulb uh, to add to the landscape, to add a little bit of color uh, and excitement to the spring landscape. Here's a landscape tip. Provide spectacular drifts of color when massed in open areas, around shrubs, under deciduous trees, and in rock gardens, or a great frame for the front perennial border.